The secret of flourishing in the Bible is water. So when the scripture says they are planted in the house of the Lord, because God is the wellspring of eternal waters of life. He said, with joy, you will draw waters from the wells of salvation. In John chapter 4, Jesus was at the well with the woman of Samaria. He said, give me water. He said, you Jew, and you ask me, Samaritan woman, for water? And the scripture comments, for Jews do not have any dealing with the Samaritans. And Jesus can say, if you knew the gift of God, and he that asks you, to give him a drink. Then you will have asked him. And what will he do? He will give you the living water. So God, when we say he's planted in the house of the Lord, it means he planted in the place of eternal water. You cannot dry up. I just don't understand how you see people say, I know God. And they look like dry grounds. Some people say, I love God, I serve God. There must be other gods, not the God that I serve. The God that I serve is too abundant in water that it can irrigate all the deserts of this world and bring forth lushness, greenness, and luxuriant growth in the desert. He says in Isaiah 43, for I pour water. In Isaiah 44, I pour water. I pour water upon the desert. I pour water upon the desert. And cause the barren place to be fruitful. Wow. I cause, for I will pour water on him who is thirsty and flushed on the dry ground. I will pour my spirit on your descendants and my blessings on your... There's another scripture. Glory to God. So water, say Water. When you don't flourish, it's because you are not connected to water. At the high point of consecration this year, at the beginning of the year, the Holy Spirit encountered me in Revelation and said, you are, made a proclamation, you are a spiritual oasis. And I came and told people, go and study what spiritual oasis is. Things are designed to live around me. <laughs> I see a man came to me. Few people come to me and tell me, God has used you to bless me. Some bring tears from my eyes. I cry in the office while they talk. A young woman, one of the most faithful watchers in this church. If no one comes, when is her time she comes? She said, I came to Grace Family. I, I lost my memory. I could not remember anything. I had no capacity to live alone. I could not do anything for myself. That's the condition that I walked into grace for me. To me, yes, later the hand, the hand of God through you has restored my memory. I'm in school now. And I'm doing a business that everybody around you knew me when I said this is the business I want to do. They told me even men cannot do that business. You that you have no spine, you have no heart, you have no courage, you die. She said, I'm prospering in that business. I'm sending myself to school and I'm paying bills. So I bring my own brother who had not, been, who had not had capacity like myself. Now I bring him in. He's with me. And I'm praying over him every day. And he's getting better. Somebody who came without memory, without capacity to live a life. I have never laid hands on him to say, be healed and all that. Just sitting down and hearing like you are hearing. And she's planted in service. She's planted in in honor of God. She follows the word of my mouth with seriousness. Say, my memory is restored and she's a part-time student in the university doing a business to go to school. Somebody who could not live on her own. Rise to your feet. Say, I blossom. Say, I sprout. Say, I flourish. Say, God is the source of eternal water. I cannot be planted in God and be dry. 
Shout, say, God is the source of eternal water. I cannot be found in God. And I am dry. In Jesus' name. Say again, I flourish. I flourish. Say, my health flourishes. My health flourishes. Say, my heart flourishes. My heart flourishes. Say, my spirit flourishes. My spirit flourishes. Say, my soul flourishes. Be seated. Glory to God. Water is the secret of the flourishing life. Job chapter 8, verse 11. Job chapter 8, verse 11, I'm done. Can the, can the piparos grow up without a marsh? Can the reeds flourish without water? The reeds. Oponyanya. The luxuriant growth of grasses, they cannot flourish without water. Wherever you see a flourishing, there is water. The secret is water. It must be a source of water for things to flourish in your hand. Water. Psalm 1, from verse 1 to 3. Psalms 1, 1 to 3. Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the path of sinners, nor sits in the seats of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in his law, he meditates day and night. He shall be like a tree planted. Planted by the rivers of water that brings forth it's fruit in what? It's season. It means that flourishes. Whose leaves also shall not wither because it flourishes. Read the last. Read loud, 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 loud. I didn't hear you. Loud. The scripture didn't say, and some of the things he does will prosper. There is a many things that he does will prosper. Everything. That's the assurance of being planted in God. That is the eternal reward of finding your delight in the Lord. For if you find your delight in the Lord, He will grant you your heart's desire. Look at Psalm 36. I'm talking about the secret of water. Psalm 36 from verse 7 to 9. How precious is your loving kindness, O God. Therefore the children of men put their trust under the shadow of your wings. They are abundantly satisfied with the fullness of your house. And you give them drink from the river of your pleasures. For with you is the fountain of life. In your light, you give them a river. There's a river that causes pleasure to flourish. There's a river that makes marriage flourish. So I don't know how to fail. <laughs> oh, the devil has tried. The devil too does not know how to make me fail. Ezekiel chapter 47. I'm telling you that the secret is water. Ezekiel 47 verse 12. Ezekiel 47 verse 12. Along the bank of the river on this side and that side will grow all kinds of trees. Used for food means the trees shall flourish. Their leaves will not wither and their fruits will not fail. They will bear fruit every month. Why? Why? Read, continue. Why? Because their water flows from the sanctuary. Those who are planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish. Their water flow from the sanctuary. They flow from the place of communion, from the place of intimacy. From the place of relationship. Oh, glory to God. <laughs> the trees bear fruit on either side of the bank. Whether you are on the left side of it or on, your, on the right side of it. Sir, whether you are a Catholic, Pentecostal, Methodist, if you are planted in the house of the Lord, sir, you shall flourish. People are preached nonsense out of the gospel. Until you come to my church, you will not flourish. Shut up! 
The flourishing life has been there before your church. The presence of God. Addiction to God. Consumption by God. Being consumed. <laughs> being consumed by zeal. Just guys say zeal for your house has consumed me. You are not yet lifted. You are too beautiful to be made dirty. You are too honorable to be queried. You cannot, no fault can be found. You are too pure, too holy. You are too perfect to be faulted. So nobody can tell you you did anything wrong. And so you scare God and scare the lifter. Every time there is a vacancy in heaven for greatness. And God is looking for who will fill it. Every time. There's an opportunity for lifting. I'm taking your time. Hate me or love me. Not letting you go. I'm going to tell you everything God has put in my heart. If you like, you come back next time. Every time. Whether it's in business or in politics, or anything. There are some people that are lifted, they don't look like they deserve it. But God just says, stay there for me. And God knows the reason. When you have opportunity to show zeal before God, I usually tell people, before men, you can stand before God, please. Don't kneel, lie down. He's the one who can change story in one second. In less than a second. Their fruit will be for food. Revelation, the last scripture about water. Revelation chapter 22, verse 1 to 2. Revelation chapter 22, verse 1 to 2. And he showed me a pure river of water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding from the throne of God and of the Lamb in the middle of the streets. And on either side of the river was the tree of life. Either side of the river was the tree of life which bore 12 fruits. Each tree yielding its fruit every month. It means flourishing. Fistlessly flourishing. The leaves of the tree were the healing of the nations. Last point. What does water mean in the scripture? Can I still tell you that one? Can I tell you? Thank you. This is where I end. So when the scriptures, when we say that the secret of the flourishing life is water. What is the meaning of water in the scripture? Ephesians chapter 5, verse 25 to 26. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 25 to 26. Husbands, love your wives, just as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for her, that he might sanctify, say sanctify, and cleanse her, say cleanse her, with the washing of water by the word. By the? Come on, by the word. So the word of God is the water by which God cleanses. So the secret of flourishing life is the word. The word is the water that makes things fruitful. <laughs> oh, faith comes by hearing and hearing the word. And you, you arrange yourself such that you don't want to hear too much. You are poor. You don't have. And instead of looking for means of having in God, you run. The word is the water by which, just can say, you are sanctified by this word. That is so high. So, how do people access the flourishing life? The word of God. They are planted in the time of the world. They are planted personally in the world. Whether it is on Instagram, whether it's on wherever the world is found, they just eat the world. They chew the world. They drink the world. They are watered by the world. Glory to God. The flourishing life is the world life. Patrick. 
Grace Henry is the president, Grace Family Commonwealth of Champions. Worship with us every Sunday in any of our services. Rising Stars Assembly by 7 a.m. and Champions Family Assembly by 9 a.m. Earth Live on Planet 101.1 FM and Spectrum TV at 10 a.m. Every Thursday for Word Power Encounter by 5 p.m. Venue Goshen, Kilometer 14, Wangiba Road, Ekamban Sukara, Uyo, Akwaibom State. Join our live streaming on Facebook, YouTube at Grace Family Outreach and on the Christ Radio app. You can become a part of this Grace Revolution by becoming a partner today. To all our partners and friends, we say thank you. For partnership, please call 0907-383-8742. For prayers, counseling, and inquiries, please call 0818-043-3225 or 0803-671-5303. Grace Family, raising champions from ordinary people.